Hi guys, David and David here from payitforward.com and in this video we're going to show you how to set up your iPhone 8 and restore from an iCloud backup. Yep, and I'm in a situation that a lot of people are in who are going to be setting up their iPhone 8 for the first time where I have my iPhone 7 here and this is applicable whether you have an iPhone 7 or any other model. Yep. As long as you have iCloud backup turned on. And so I have backed up my phone to iCloud. Cool. And now we're going to turn on my new iPhone 8 for the very first time as David said, yep. and restore from that backup. Well, let's so let's do it. Go ahead, your iPhone, go right ahead. All right. And we're also gonna do a screen recording yep. of this. We wanna show you exactly what you're going to see on the screen mm -hmm. when you do this for yourself. All right, so the Apple logo is on the screen. Let's take this out of the way for a second. We've all seen this before. Yep, yeah. here we go. Nothing new yet. And we're turning on. It's all, I always like that Apple includes a charged iPhone in the new box. You don't have to wait for right, six play. hours yeah. you know, to be able to use it. So, so far so good. Hello. Okay, I'll just open this right up. So far. So select your same. language yep. and select your country or region. We are mm -hmm. in the United States. Mm -hmm. Quick start. If you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. If you want, you can also set up this iPhone manually. Well, we've got the iPhone 7 running iOS 11, so let's, uh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Set, set up new iPhone. Use your Apple ID, blurred out, to set up <laughs> your new iPhone. <laughs> and I'll say continue. Wow. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. This is very similar to the Apple Watch setup procedure. Interesting. All right. Position the pattern in the circle. That was fast. It's connecting now, waiting for other iPhone. Okay, finish on new iPhone. So I'm gonna enter the passcode of my other iPhone. I'm gonna do that right now. Setting up your iPhone. And this process will take an indeterminate amount of time. Could take minutes with an iCloud backup after it would reboot, it would take right. this. Yep, a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So activation, confirm your phone number. Yep. It's got my phone number on the screen. The phone number should match the one provided when you purchased your iPhone. If you want to use a different number, contact Verizon after activation. If it's different than the one you provided when you purchased your iPhone, contact Apple. It just so happens to be my phone number. So that's, well, that's good. convenient. So far, so good. Activation, okay. Enter Billing, zip code, and social security. A lot of people are going to get stuck here. Let me do this. I think it's my dad. You, you don't want to share your billing zip code and social security number? I think it's my dad's. Let's see, it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Well, let's see, let's see how this goes. I wouldn't want to share mine, but I don't think my dad would mind if I did that. I'm still on a family plan with my parents. That's nice. It's a lot cheaper than uh, you know, having my own uh, cell phone plan. And I uh, haven't you know, had the discussion with my parents. You know, yeah. it's, not a, it's not a battle that I really want to fight. <laughs> you know, right. I, uh, I'm independent, you know, but... I can be bought. So taking a few minutes to activate your iPhone. While this is activating, we can talk about how you can get your own iPhone 8. Mm -hmm. We're going to link to an article right up here in a card and down below in the description. Mm -hmm. Quick little article we wrote, how to get your iPhone 8. A few different right. carriers and there are actually some really good deals and it's pretty affordable if you do like a monthly plan. Mm -hmm. And you can get it through your carrier like Verizon, Sprint, at and T-Mobile. Yep. Or you can get it through Apple's website. I would definitely recommend checking out your carrier mm -hmm. first because they sometimes have special deals. Mm -hmm. Okay, Touch ID, use your fingerprint in place of your passcode or Apple ID, we've so all done this This is before. one thing too, because Face ID was such a big deal mm -hmm. at the Apple event, but it only is there for iPhone 10. If you have an iPhone right. 8, you're not gonna have Face ID mm -hmm. yet or ever because it's the iPhone 8, maybe the iPhone 8S. If Maybe, that, if that ever or the happens. iPhone 9. Will they go to 9 next to try to catch well, up? Well, we'll see. Adjust your grip. Keep going to capture the edges of your print. So I'm just going to you know, keep doing this. Now, no SIM card installed. Oh, boy. That's interesting. I think what that just was, was the phone software rebooting in the background. That's neat. Otherwise, there is no SIM card installed, but there clearly is a SIM card installed. Okay. Touch ID, there we go. Adjust your grip. Right. So we should mention that if you get an error that says no SIM card installed, just ignore it. Yeah, just ignore it and <laughs> just go back to Touch ID because there is a SIM card installed on your new iPhone. Mm -hmm. If you bought it. If you bought it through your uh, carrier. Through your carrier, you know, through apple.com and gave them your phone number. Yep. So send it through Apple ID. ID. Yeah. A lot of status circles. Yep. When you set up your iPhone. Par for the course. Yeah. A lot of waiting. 
Reminds me of my time at the Apple store. 25% of the time helping customers, 75% waiting around. Looking at status bars. And... Yep. 42% password resets. Yeah. 60, I'm just making up numbers at this point. <laughs> All right, so now we're here at the update mm -hmm. from an iCloud backup. This is probably what you're going to want to do if you have an iPhone 7. Back it up and you can quickly... Put all your information right into your new iPhone. Right. So, no need to re-enter all your contacts and all that stuff. Yeah, this is great too. This is a new feature where it's saying that it was last backed up at 2 p.m. today, which I had done before we started this video. Yep. Um, however, a lot of people will have had it backed up the previous night while they were asleep. Mm -hmm. And then if you were to restore without creating a new backup, you would lose all your text messages and photos or whatever you took yep. during the course of today. So let's hit update backup before restoring. And then on my old iPhone, it's saying this iPhone has started a new backup. So your new iPhone will use up-to-date apps and data. Stay connected to Wi-Fi and power to make sure the backup can be completed. It's not connected to power, but if you had a lot to back up, this would be a good time to connect it to power. Mm -hmm. In my case, however, uh, since I created a backup earlier today, it's should be pretty necessary. quick. Yeah. And here we are on the iPhone 8, terms and conditions. Uh, read definitely read it. And yeah, then every read. word. I, at one point, had a customer come into the Apple store and start asking me very, very, very specific questions about the terms and conditions. And I wasn't prepared to answer that. <laughs> and I also said, I think that you should consult a lawyer if you really are concerned yeah. about these types of things, because I was certainly not qualified. It well, was above my pay grade. You are now, because you have read the terms and conditions. I did. All of them, and you agreed mm, to them. I did. So settings from your backup. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at this. Right, you can restore the following settings from DP's iPhone or customize them individually. Uh, allow Siri to use your voice input contacts, location to process your requests. Yep. Allow Maps and other apps to use your location with your permission. Yes. You know what I'm wondering is if we hit continue, are other settings on my iPhone going to change? The ones that I've optimized, like in our how to right. get the most battery out of your iPhone videos where we go through and show you how to turn off things like iPhone analytics. Yeah, iPhone location services. I wonder if by hitting continue, it's going to restore these, but also update a well, lot of the other settings. We can take a default. look at that, for sure. I think we should definitely do that. But for now, we'll hit continue. Yep. Yep, we'll have to take a look after we've set up the iPhone. Yep, Apple Pay. Unfortunately, my credit card that I use doesn't have Apple Pay. That's the a Chase credit card. Yep. So I'm going to set this up later in Wallet. American Express cards definitely do. Yep. And look at that. There's a picture of one right on the screen. So I'm going to hit set up later in Wallet. Also, not something I might want to do during an iPhone. Uh, right. You probably don't, probably don't want to share your credit you know, card information on this video. Probably. Well, not. here's your answer to the iPhone analytics question. Mm -hmm. Help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of usage and data from your iPhone. You can change your decision later in settings. I always recommend don't share okay. because when you have iPhone analytics turned on, your iPhone is using battery life, both collecting the analytics and sending them to Apple in the background. Sure, it's anonymous, but it is sending Apple data about specifically how you use your iPhone. And that can drain your battery as well. Mm -hmm. So, yep. so I'm don't need say, it. Is that going to make your iPhone any better? Mm -hmm. iPhone, oh, this is a new. New feature. True, True tone, tone display. display. Yep. iPhone automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear consistent in different environments. You can change this later in display and brightness settings. Let's tap the see without True Tone Display okay. button and see what it's like. Oh, you have to hold it down. You have to hold it down. Okay. I well, mean, I like it without. <laughs> it, it's it's definitely a different color temperature. Yep. It seems to be. It's warmer. Warmer. Yep. Warmer by default. Okay. So continue. I don't know why I turned that off. I don't know. Battery life. If it's automatically adapting constantly to different lighting conditions, well, that could be that a new could battery. Be a battery could life, be a new battery sure. step for us, mm -hmm. and we can uh, do some research on that. So more, uh, more status, status bar, bar, little status circle in the upper right hand corner. Yep. iCloud is still backing up. Yeah. Seven minutes remaining. Oh boy. Mm. So well, we're going to have to fast forward this. A lot of waiting involved with setting up a new iPhone. Here we go. So here we go. We yep. waiting for DP's iPhone to complete backup, and we have about seven minutes remaining. So this is where we say tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock. We're going to go into a little time warp, so yep. you don't have to wait the seven minutes with us. Totally.
All right, so we fast forwarded. We're now at one minute remaining on the restore from iCloud backup. Mm -hmm. This has been a very boring but important process because without it, you can't use your iPhone. Mm -hmm. so and it's, yeah. it's important to set it up the right way the first time. Right. This is where people get into trouble where they end up missing their notes or their contacts. Yeah. It's important to restore from your iCloud backup yep. and always pick up where you left off yep. because there's no way to then go in and pull stuff out of an iPhone backup. Yep. So iPhone backup. you restored your iCloud backup mm -hmm. and your iPhone will restart. You'll see the status bar again and it'll there fill up and we're just status bars all, all day here. It's almost there. This uh, video brought to you by Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Yeah. I forgot. I, I wish. This on the table. Right. All right. So enter your passcode. Mm. Your passcode is required to enable yeah. Touch ID. So mm -hmm. we've set it up. iCloud backup has been restored. Why don't you enter your passcode here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Pair Apple Watch. You're using an iPhone that has been uh, unpaired from your Apple Watch. Um, I'm going to do this later on. Okay. My you Apple you have an Apple Watch. Watch. It's out in the kitchen. I do. Let's not get it right now. I'm just going to say cancel. So now all of my apps are downloading from the cloud. Yep. And if I wanted to prioritize one over the others, I can just tap on it. Look at that. Right. So there's so, a pro tip for you. Tap yeah. on an app to prioritize it. Right. So I'm going to use Google Maps. Maybe I use that a lot more than I use the Things app over here, which is the, the Things, Things app. The Things app. I didn't know that was a thing. It was indeed. I believe it was. <laughs> it's funny. It was a Starbucks free app at one point in nice. the past. Sort all of right. A, so these apps are going to install. Might take a little while, especially with a lot of apps. Yep. And but that is really how to set up your iPhone 8 mm -hmm. and restore from an iCloud backup. Right. And like David said, it's going to take a long time. If you have a lot of apps, a lot of photos, it could be gigabytes of, yep. of information. Make sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection. Mm -hmm. If you're at McDonald's and trying to do this, go home. Yeah. Use your home Wi-Fi connection because not all Wi-Fi is the same. Right. Yeah, it's a long, boring process, but when you're finished, you have a great new iPhone 8, mm -hmm. which you can use. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more iPhone tips, troubleshooting videos. And once again, thank you guys for watching.